Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, today was my last day of high school of actually going to school, and I guess you could say I'm pretty much uh, free from here on out. It's time to mow grass. One thing is for sure, it is really hard to stay warm on this nice hot day. Air conditioning? No air conditioning. Oh, we'll go with this one. Okay. Let's see. Female. She didn't get her second bottle of colostrum. Hello. <laughs> Ninety-one and twenty-four ninety. How are you doing, huh? For those that you, that don't know, this is our maternity. All the cows, but there's also heifers in here that are pregnant. All the ones that are in here are pregnant, and from there we'll move them. But yeah, after they give birth, we'll move them. But yep, all these uh, cows and then heifers are pregnant. The other side over there, on the other side of the feed alley, those cows, those are milking cows. This is just the one side here that's the maternity. So from the maternity over here on this side, this cow lane goes up through that barn into the parlor. And then here are more cows that we're milking. And then over there we have another barn, but those are heifers. All those heifer, heifers are pregnant in the, other, in the other barn. And then once it gets close to them giving birth, that's when we move them here. It's the next day here. Well, I left off on Friday afternoon, but now it's Monday. It's around eight o'clock in the morning here. I don't. I'm not at school, which feels great. And I'm here. Um, I want to start off by cleaning inside this pasteurizer room. This is something I wanted to be doing, wanted to do for a while now. And then we'll probably I'll blast the car there with the high pressure washer because it's very dirty. It, I haven't cleaned it all in, in a couple of months, and during the spring here, it's just gotten really dusty. In here. I want to get a broom, get rid of these spider webs, and then high pressure wash these walls. I'm gonna try to stay away with the pressure washer over here because I would really suck to get some of this stuff messed up. So same thing with over there, and I'll probably move these bins and stuff. But yeah, I just want to clean clean up in here. Uh, I will be bleaching these buckets. I have the lids and bottle bucket here soaking in bleach but yeah we try to do this during the summer we're gonna have to do it more often because it's hot out and that's when uh bacteria and stuff likes to grow but during the winter you don't have to do it as often but yeah during the summer you have to do it a lot more often so i i got our like best broom to clean spider webs all right this broom should do the trick for a lot of areas of cleaning but first um my dad has some neck rails i'm pretty sure he has to weld and fix so we'll yeah it's gonna be a lot of webs so we'll go and uh help him out there he has to drive a, a small tractor back to our group two pen and i'll drive our the farm beater truck back there with the, all the tools that he'll need and i'll probably have to help him back there but We'll get to that then. So before we get back to fixing posts, we're gonna bit up this weaning barn here. They're getting a little messy. So now I got that done, my dad went down and started the fun without me. I feel like every time we make a trip to do one of the small projects, we forget something. It's just the natural thing to do. I use this 
scraper to scrape this off. We need to make this as smooth and flush as possible in order for that to fit on and we can make it as tight as possible. We leave again because we didn't know there's uh, bolts on the uh, connector piece to the the guard to the post or as a uh, five eighths. We thought it was three quarters, but hey, now we know. One friendly girl. Never. Yeah. Say hello to the camera. So I had my plans of coming out. That's gonna have to happen later. We're finding many posts in here that need to be uh, welded and well that's not that's just a patch job, that's not that's not gonna hold too long, but but it it's good that we're doing it. So around three, three and a half hours later got done I can get back to what I was wanting to do and yeah I kind of forgot how long I was wearing these you kind of forget about them once they're on your face all right we'll worry about bleaching these buckets later and that bucket was just brought back so I'm gonna put that lid in there but anyway all right let's get this party started I'll speed this up for you guys Just taking the spider webs out, really brightened up the rim. But now let's get to the part that I'm looking forward to getting rid of this yellow look. So, since uh, the hot water heater on the pressure washer is broken, we just use the hot water from here. So, let's get this uh, party started, shall we? Alright, so these 
walls look a lot better. I'm just going to, I'm gonna do this off camera, but I'm gonna clean up this junk here that I'm not gonna try to blow that around with the pressure washer that won't go over too well. I'm gonna go back, eat lunch, and then I'll bleach these buckets. These buckets got dirt blown into them and stuff, but. All right, so I got back from lunch. I'm gonna bleach these buckets, and then I'll feed calves, but I'm not gonna show the feeding calves part because I'll make this video longer, and yeah. You guys seen calf feeding, calf feeding already, so. I'll have to do a video, just like a video focus on calf feeding this summer, just so you guys can, I can in depth tell you what's going on. buckets to the parlor the rest will stay here but yeah this wall looks much much nicer if you made it to the end thank you i appreciate it um next video probably high pressure washing or one manure tank and i'm not sure what else if it dries out i'll probably mow grass and i can probably find some other small stuff to do there's definitely a lot of high pressure that can be done but the manure tank is the main thing right now that I want to get out of the way. That we want to get out of the way. Like I said, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.